del autor publicado en Harvard, Business Week, TechCrunch, VentureBeat y GigaOM es Larry Chiang. Introducing CS183E Lecture 3, which is the copy-paste uh, lecture. When I say copy-paste, what do you think? Most people think plagiarism. This is not that type of copy-paste. This is copy-paste in pattern replication, where your mentor pattern recognizes, and we pattern replicate, and then pattern iterate, PR, PR, PI. So this is the copy-paste lecture where we're gonna be inserting signature business recipes in the process of editing a startup. We're experiencing the point of a startup that's literally below the trough of sorrow. The point that we're editing a startup is where the startup is essentially dead. And this is called the process. And when you say the phrase, the process, I think of one person, top of mind, deals with failure, is a great mentor, uh, winning as baseball coach in American history, Augie Garrido, currently University of Texas baseball coach. He is constantly harking on the process, not focusing on the results, but on the process. And if you look at that chart, all of his mentorship on failure and failing forward applies to the process. Engage rainmaking. When I say rainmaking, it's not the Seattle form of rain or once every never rain that California gets. It's engaging the form of rain of revenue. And in rainmaking, the point that we're going to be starting to work with business model canvas with what Microsoft is this the Altair basic of and the chasm those forms of rainmaking are going to be uh, executed right at that point, right at that CS183E point, uh, where we're going to be also adding in the signature business recipes, including guacamole and also hashtag CS183S for rainmaking. Going back to the Hollywood analogy for film and editing, Marsha Lucas actually edited Star Wars, where she added in a chase scene. And the reason I bring this up is it's kind of counterintuitive to George Lucas at the time to add in a chase scene. Whereas the chase scene at the end of episode four, the first Star Wars movie that came out, A New Hope, inserted actually a chase scene, not between cars, between uh, an X-Wing fire fighter and a TIE fighter. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be copy pasting into right at the point, the trough of sorrow, signature business recipes. Maybe Marcia Lucas uh, didn't get the credit that she deserved, but my argument is that majority of genius editors in Hollywood don't get the recognition that they deserve. They might get the roles and the, the deal flow and the offers, but they don't necessarily get the, the amount of recognition. Same thing in Silicon Valley. When you're doing an edit, there is not a whole lot of nobility in it. There's just upside and allowing for us to practice. Hashtag Marsha Lucas. Smart people, genius YC founders, oftentimes gloss over, I know Brady, right? Glossing over the business model, the business model canvas. And the business model canvas it's for lower IQ people to use post-it notes and sticky notes on. And you've got to put it up as a visual where you constantly have to be working and tweaking it. Obviously, if you're editing something, that thing died and that entity was no longer able to tweak or maybe never even focused on business model canvas. This is inside of Engineering 145 and business model canvas has three main components that we should be focusing on. Fewer people, more personal attention. Fewer clients, more personal attention. Am I quoting Jerry Maguire or am I quoting Paul Graham? I'm actually quoting them both in this uh, graph, which is where we want to be the Altair basic that might grow into a Microsoft or what Microsoft is this the Altair basic of. Fewer people, more attention is 
counterintuitive because we're not up and to the right. We're actually up straight up above, above where we're making a small subset of people incredibly and extremely happy. The points are now a curve and this is the stress that it's fewer customers, smaller market segment, more for focused vertical, uh, fewer people. And the points have now flipped into a curve and the axis also flipped. So I took the most important graph that Paul Graham draws and if you look at that cigar shape, it extrapolates directly into another incredibly important graph that someone else wrote named Jeffrey Moore. Life's work is summarized in the chasm. So if you take the, the vertical line dotted area, that's where we're focusing. That's where all of our efforts gonna be in doing this edit. I'm copy pasting two graphs, Paul Graham's most important graph I've ever drawn with Jeffrey Moore's The Chasm. And that dotted line vertical hashed out area is where we're gonna be exerting all of our effort in that point. We're gonna be exerting all of our effort to execute signature business recipes after my having copy pasted these graphs together. Solution here is exactly what we're editing, which is that little smidge of a vertical. So we're gonna take that smidge of a vertical and we're going to do an LCMCC. That's what this edit is. That's what this Altair Basic, the Microsoft of, is an LCMCC, a Larry Chang mini company concept. And that's coupled with hashtag EUBM, engineer up a business model. So it's right at that point where we're gonna be incorporating two protocols, LCMCC and EUBM. Worst case scenario, you're selling in an area that's already gotten a little bit of adoption. Should you decide to edit and be innovative and stay true to the original startup's intention, then you're in that dotted line area. So you're ebbing and flowing in that smidge of a vertical that is right there that combines the what Altair Basic is, is the Microsoft of combined with Cross the Chasm from the right. That's Lecture 3 CS183E uh, editing.